Hello, this is Sage, the Balloon Sage, and you know what I never seem to see on YouTube? Family Guy Balloon Tutorials. Love it or hate it, Family Guy is a show that has lasted 15 years, and its easily recognizable popular characters would seem to be ideal as balloon animals for live twisting. This particular character is Brian Griffin, the pretentious anthropomorphic dog of the titular Griffin family. I actually came up with this design last night, and I couldn't wait to teach it to you. The secret to constructing this design quickly is pre-making the snout, which requires a white 350 and a black 350 tip for the nose. Keep half a dozen or so of these snouts in an airtight container ready to be plucked out, and the rest of the brine simply uses white 260s and a red 260 for the collar. And for the finishing touches, you simply pull out those black and yellow sharpies and add the details. Now, you may find this first step a bit troublesome to get correct, especially on the first try, but I assure you, once you get this down, the rest is smooth sailing. So you're going to take your little bubble here, which will be the nose, we're going to try to oval it up a little bit, and uh, you're going to have about four fingers of tail on this white 350, but it's knotted right here. So this is tail, but uh, knotted about three or four fingers down. So we tie these two together. I'd say at the tip of the white, tie the black nose there, tie it together. And this is the tricky part. The most common problem you'll find is that you'll get your fingers down into the balloon and then you can't get them out without popping it. So here we go. This is honestly take one. Hopefully I'll get it right the first time. Okay, so you basically just push it down, down in there until the nose kind of disappears and you're going to grab it right here, the knot that we made. I'm going to be real careful here. This is the hard part. Whoa! Oh dear. There it is, like a Chinese finger trap. Okay, there we go. You're going to push back a little bit, just like this, and you want to make sure there's a full muscle in there. Now, you don't want it too long, because then it'll start to look like Snoopy. This is admittedly based off of Snoopy, even though creators admit that. So just tie it off in such a way that you get a nice snout there, with the ball coming out at the end to make the nose. Just like that. Now you may be asking, what do we do now? Well, I'll tell you. You can either rip this off and make it into a strap, or if you have another strap, that's cool too, but take your scrap of 350, and you tie it under the knot, closer to here, under the knot. Remember, you're going to be making these ahead of time, so it doesn't matter if you use your teeth. As long as it's not from the kit. Okay, so you tie that off, and... There's your snout. Now it's important that you keep at least two parts right here because this, uh, two tail scraps, because you want to tie that directly into the head, which we are going to make right now. So we begin with two four finger, approximately maybe four and a half finger. This is the front of Brian's head. You make those two bubbles and tie them together. Alright, and as I said before, we're going to come down with a larger bubble for our bird body, so make that about five and just push it through. Okay, now this was the tough part. This was the part also that I had the most fun doing because I had to construct the ears. He has very strange ears. If you look at a picture of him, his ears are very specific. They're like square, but they bend, they go down. So here's how we do it. Okay, this will be the top of the head. All right. So we come down with, I'd say, maybe, I don't know, three finger, two finger bubble, I'm not sure, whatever looks right on the design, and you want to make sure there's some slack, because we're going to connect it in a weird way. You're going to push this through to the other side, like this, push it through, the other side, pull it through, and you're going to create a shape that comes down while having slack, so let me get closer here, just like that. Okay, it's going to connect in the middle, the slack in the middle, and it's going to come up on the other side, and then we're going to tie it into the top of the head. So if you, if you don't have the ears down, it, it won't look like your eye. So there you go. Make sure you got slack. And then we're going to make the same size bubble as we did before for the ear. And we're going to tie it directly in there. Well, it's kind of easier said than done. So what we're going to do is break this off. This is going to become one of the arms. Break it off. And make sure you have enough slack there. Tie it off. We'll set this to the side. Okay. And uh, the trick is to... Tie it through the top and kind of into itself here. So scoop it around a couple of times and stick it in the back just like that. Position the ears. So there's that slack in the middle. 
There you go, there are his ears, there's the back of the head, front of the face. Now it's time to put on that snout. Tie one into the top and one into the bottom. Like so. Right in there. Right. And this is kind of my rule is just tie it in there however it'll work for you. You don't have to really make a knot. Um, it's just going to take some experimenting to get right. Bring the upper portion of the head here, just like this. Okay. And tie it into the top there. Just don't mess up the slack in the middle of the head or in the design. So you're going to have to practice. As I said, I just came up with this, so I'm still working on it. The specifics of tying in the straps and such, but you know, a little practice, you'll be able to get that down yourself. Okay, that looks good. Ears more on the side there. You don't want the ears touching at the top. He does have a uh, forehead uh, of sorts, and the, eye, uh, the ears are on the side. As we take a little gander at Brian here, you'll notice that the snout actually is not in the middle. It's toward the bottom because we need enough space to draw in the eyes on top. So it's a little bit difficult to do, but the basic idea is that when you take your two scraps, you tie this one up a little bit looser than you do this one. This one's a little tighter that way, because if it's up here, then, <laughs> well, that's not going to work. So we want to make sure we can position this correct way. The body's the same deal as the head, except the dimensions are a little larger. So I'd say maybe five fingers. Match it up with another five finger. And then bring up a six finger and push it through. Body. Just like that. From this point, we're going to break this off, tie this, and this will be our second arm right here. Break off. Tie off the arm. Throw it to the side. And get the slack, and just tie it in again, however you think will work for you. Grab your two scraps. And now we make the arm. So three fingers. Let me actually show you the arms one more time. Here's what we got. Three pinch twists. And the arms, I would say four, maybe four fingers. Um, you want them a little bit loose so that it's not completely pushing out the chest here when you attach it. And these are actually held down once you put them in place. A little bit by friction, but a lot by his red collar. So, one, two, Three, a little hand there, and get your arm size right, and just tie that off. Do it again with this one. Okay, forgot to mention, uh, one of the scraps that you tie in should still be around, because <laughs> you want to tie this into the body now, and then we'll attach the arm. So make sure you got the longer one in the back, and the two in the same side in front. And just tie that head on. Not too tight, but not too loose either. You are going to have to put a red 260 scrap there for the collar. And uh, but if it's too loose, then that won't work either. But it's approximately like that. So you can at least pull the head up a little bit. And we're going to simply, I think you just simply slip this around the neck. And get, they have a little slack, maybe not that much. Put it around the neck, and then stick them in to the sides. My goodness, I was completely wrong. This is supposed to be in the front. This is his tummy. So the long ones in the front, two short ones in the back, two short ones in the front on the head, and a long one in the back. A little confusing, but yeah, there we go. The legs and feet are pretty standard. You just have to make sure that the dimensions are correct, and the legs have to be smaller, at least by a little bit, than the length of his body, even the smaller segments. So, start with a pedal twist for his foot. And yeah, I know he has toes, but this technically is a line work design. If you pre-make those snouts, you can bust these out fast. I know how long this tutorial is, but still, uh, I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Okay. So you got the pinch twist, pedal twist combo, pretty standard stuff here. And you're going to measure about four fingers for the leg. Now this is important. Um, in order for his legs to stay on correctly, just grab them real quick. Um, put it through, put the balloon through the bottom, or the middle of the body. Okay. 
Now once you got the uh, four finger lug done here, you want to push this directly through the center like this. Otherwise it'll twist all around. This will actually stay uh, in proportion and it'll stay forward. Okay, another four finger bubble. We're coming down to match the other leg. And just another pinch twist, pedal twist combo. We're going to connect the feet together with a little bubble, and this will increase the stability. Okay, pop that extra off, tie it off, and here's our Brian, all set. He is a bit naked though. He does need his uh, collar. And you can see the arms are popping out. So reposition those arms, push them down. There's a pinch twist. We'll fit him for his collar. Like that. Let's tie it on. Get rid of that extra. And then you're going to push that pinch twist to the inside, like this. And that will help support the head as well. Position the head. Alright, there is your Brian Griffin. Okay, I'm not exactly artist of the year here when it comes to drawing, but the eyes are pretty simple. They're just circles, pretty thick circles, uh, with pupils towards the bottom and kind of an apathetic half, uh, half closed eyes there, maybe a quarter closed, kind of bemused look on his face. That's also important. But the collar, I'll show you how to do real quick. Just make a circle of yellow, almost close to his uh, collar there. You don't want the tag hanging down too low. I, I'm <laughs> when it comes to characters, I'm very anal retentive. So draw a, a black circle around that. All right. You might want to wait for it to dry normally. I'm just rushing through this, and then a slight line, just so that uh, you can see that it's attached. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I know this is a long tutorial. Hopefully, you stuck with me, and I hope you like this design. I'm really darn proud of it because it's rare that I come up with character designs. And I think I nailed this one, if I do say so myself. Thanks a lot. Please subscribe, please thumb up this video, and check out all my other great Balloon Sage tutorials here on the Balloon Sage channel.